Hey everyone, Cody here, and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to do another dabbed painting with uh, trowel. I'm going to use different colors of yellow, black, and white. Uh, well, black and white, and then three different shades of yellow. One is, the first one is like a cream yellow, the second one is like an actual regular yellow, and then the third is kind of a golden rod. Um, so basically going to make like a gradient style painting where it goes from light to dark. And you will see that. But today I want to talk to you about, and I, I guess an argument that, not, not an argument, but a viewpoint. And I'd like to challenge a viewpoint that someone challenged me with uh, a while back. And basically their point that they made was that I charge too much for the paintings that I make because they don't require much effort. And I'd like to kind of challenge that real quick because, if, I mean, if you make art or if you have a product, if you sell a product, um, if you present yourself in business some way, I'd like to kind of challenge this idea that the amount of work you put in directly correlates to the product that you sell. It is and it's not true. Now, that person doesn't really understand that when someone buys a painting from me or any other artist, that they're really buying it because it made some kind of impact on them, right? Uh, usually some kind of emotional impact, if not just a visual one. And when someone buys a painting from an artist or a product, any product from someone, especially if it's handmade, they're buying it, you know, knowing that it was handmade, but they're buying it because of most likely the way that it looks. And so it doesn't come down to the amount of time you put into it, it comes down to the final product. I mean, really every business tries to find the cheapest or fastest way to put out a decent product um, because that's how businesses stay in business. So you can't expect people who are artists or uh, people who make things by hand or have their own product that they make to just make large or you know super time consuming things and put out a lot of them in order to sustain themselves. Now. You could do a lot of large things or a few large things, but at the same time, if those things don't sell, then that's not going to matter. So the buyer doesn't really care how it was made. They just want the finished product. And I was, I was thinking about it with food. You know, if you eat meat, you probably know how meat is made. You know, it took an animal. That animal had to be put down and then, you know, divvied up and then turned into the meat that you're eating and if you don't eat meat i mean same thing with plants but my point is is that if you eat it you knowing you know the process behind it but that doesn't stop you from eating it well buying art or handcrafted items is the same thing i mean it doesn't matter if i'm showing you the process behind it if you were going to buy it you were going to buy it based on the most likely the the look of it um at the end now Someone might buy it because of the process. I've had people tell me that they, they saw the video of how it was made on YouTube and they were so enthusiastic, like it, it was so cool to them that they bought it. So there is kind of the inverse of that. But if they weren't going to buy it, then seeing how easy it was, I don't think is going to make them not buy it, if that makes sense. So it, it doesn't necessarily come down to how quote unquote easy it was. If the person wasn't interested in it anyway when they saw it, if they saw the finished product, then they weren't going to buy it. So, I mean, that person that was arguing with me isn't going to be the one to buy this type of painting anyway, if that makes sense. So, you know, that argument of having to put in a certain amount of work in order to earn a certain amount of money back, it's not like I'm charging thousands for a painting this size. So, I mean, it's not like I'm being outlandish. It's a few hundred bucks because I have to recoup that cost and then I just sink it back in. So it's not like I'm charging an arm and a leg for it. I charge a fair price. Um, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Just wanted to kind of address that argument. But this is the final painting. Um, I had to move it because it started kind of shifting and I wanted to get it outside where it was warm so it could start to dry real fast before it started to pull together. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'll catch you guys in another one. Okay, take care. Bye.